gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O heavenly King, O Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who is everywhere present, and fillest all things, treasury of good things, giver of life, come and abide in us, cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins, that after pardon our victories. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy new church. Lord, have mercy, O Lord, have mercy, O Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our day. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, and the honor of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Granting to thy people victory over all their adversaries, and by the power of thy cross preserving thy commonwealth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Do thou, who of thine own good will was lifted up upon the cross of Christ our God, bestow thy bounties upon the new nation which is called by thy name. Make glad in thy might those who lawfully govern that with them we may be led to victory over our adversaries, having in thy aid a weapon of peace and a trophy invincible, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O champion dread, who cannot be put to confusion, despise not our petitions, O good and all praise, Theotokos. Establish the way of the Orthodox, Save those who have been called upon to govern us, leading us to that victory which is from heaven. For thou art she who gave birth to God, and alone art blessed. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Father, Metropolitan Joseph, and all our brothers. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For thou art merciful God, and lovest mankind, and of the devious tribe, Lord, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Bless Father, in the name of the Lord. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving, and undivided Trinity. Always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill toward men. O Lord, open up my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O Lord, open up my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O Lord, why are they multiplied that afflict me? Many raise up against me. Many say unto my soul, There is no salvation for him and his God. But thou, O Lord, art my helper, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I laid me down and slept, and I woke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all who without cause are mine enemies. The teeth of sinners hast thou broken, salvation is of the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. I laid me down and slept, and I woke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thy anger, nor chasten me in thy wrath, for thine arrows are fastened in me, and thou hast laid thy hand heavily upon me. 
There is no healing in my flesh in the face of thy wrath, and there is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For mine iniquities are risen higher than my head, as a heavy burden have they pressed heavily upon me. My bruises are become noisome and corrupt in the face of my folly. I have been wretched and utterly bowed down unto the end all the day long. I went with downcast face, for my loins are filled with mocking, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and humbled exceedingly. I have roared from the groaning of my heart. O Lord, before thee is all my desire, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart is troubled, and my strength hath failed me, and the light of mine eyes, even this, is not with me. My friend and my neighbors drew nigh over against me, and stood, and my nearest of kin stood afar off. And they that sought after my soul used violence, and they that sought evils from me spake vain things and craftiness all the day long did they meditate. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard them not, and was as the speechless man that openeth not his mouth. I became as a man that heareth not, and hath in his mouth no reproofs. For in thee have I hoped, O Lord, that will hearken unto me, O Lord my God. For I said, Let never mine enemies rejoice over me. Yea, when my feet were shaken, those men spoke boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, and I will take heed concerning my sin. But mine enemies live and are made stronger than I, and they that hated me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good slander me because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, unto thee I rise early at dawn. My soul hath thirsted for thee. How often hath my flesh longed after thee. In a land barren and untrodden and unwatered. So in the sanctuary have I appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than life. My lips shall praise thee. So shall I bless thee in my life. And in thy name will I lift up my hands. As with marrow and fatness, let my soul be filled. And with lips rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remember thee on my bed at the dawn, I meditated on thee. For thou art become my helper, and the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee. Thy right hand hath been quick to help me. But as for these in vain, have they sought after my soul. They shall go into the nethermost parts of the earth. They shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword. Portions for foxes shall they be. But the king shall be glad in God. Everyone shall be praised that sweareth by him. For the mouth of them that stop that speak unjust things. At the dawn I meditated on thee. For thou art become my helper. And the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved unto thee. Thy right hand hath been quick to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God, my salvation, by day have I cried, and by night before thee, let my prayer come before thee. Bow down thine ear unto my supplication. For filled with evils is my soul, and my life unto Hades hath drawn nigh. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am become as a man without help, free among the dead, like the bodies of the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. They laid me in the lowest pit in the darkness and the shadow of death. Against me is thine anger made strong, and all thy bitterness hast thou brought upon me. Thou hast removed my friends afar from me. They have made me an abomination unto themselves. I have been delivered up, and have not come forth. Mine eyes are grown weak from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Nay, for the dead, wilt thou work wonders? Or shall physicians raise them up, that they may give thanks unto thee? Nay, shall any in the grave tell of thy mercy, and of that truth, and that destruction? Nay, shall thy wonders be known in that darkness, and thy righteousness in the land that is forgotten? But as for me, unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, dost thou cast off my soul, and turnest thy face away from me? A poor man am I, and in troubles, yea, from youth, having been exalted, I was humbled, and brought to distress. Thy furies have passed upon me, and thy terrors have sorely troubled me. They came round about me like water all the day long. They compassed me about together. Thou hast removed afar from me, friend and neighbor, and my acquaintances, because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried, and by night before thee, let my prayer come before thee, bow down thine ear to my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all that he hath done for thee, who is gracious unto thine iniquities, who healeth all thy infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, who crowneth thee with mercy and compassion who fulfilleth thy desire with good things, that you shall be renewed as the eagles. The Lord performeth deeds of mercy, and executeth judgment for all them that are wronged. He hath made his ways known unto Moses, and to the sons of Israel, the things that he hath willed. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy. Not unto the end will he be angered, neither unto eternity will he be wroth. Not according to our iniquities has he dealt with us, neither according to our sins hath he rewarded us. For according to the height of, of heaven from the earth, the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. Like as a father hath compassion upon his son, so hath the Lord had compassion upon them that fear him. For he knoweth where we are made, he hath remembered that we are dust. As for man whose days are as the grass, as the flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. 
For the, when the wind is passed over it, then shall it be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him. And his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, all ye his angels, mighty in strength, that perform his word. Do you hear the voice of his words? Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all ye his works, and every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear unto my supplication, and thy truth hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath humbled my life down to the earth. He has sat me in darkness, as those that have been long dead, and my spirit within me has become despondent. Within me my heart is troubled, I remembered days of old, I meditated on all thy works, I pondered on the creation of thy hands. I stretched forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsteth after thee like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. For thy name's sake, O Lord, thou shalt quicken me, and thy righteousness shall thou bring my soul out of affliction. And in thy mercy shall thou utterly destroy mine enemies, and thou shalt cut off them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. O Lord, give ear unto my supplication, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. O Lord, give ear unto my supplication, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. O our God and our hope, glory to thee. In peace let us pray, Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God and communion of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. To thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, and call upon his holy name. God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. All nations compass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. This is the Lord, so it is marvelous in our eyes. God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Today is the beginning of our salvation and the manifestation of the mystery from the ages. For the Son of God becometh the Son of the Virgin, and Gabriel proclaimeth grace. Wherefore do we shout with him to the Theotokos? Rejoice, O full of grace, the Lord is with 
Corazón al Corbito, me pasó no la Virgen, and Gabriel proclaimed grace. Wherefore do we shout with him to the Theotokos? Rejoice, O full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Today is the beginning of our salvation and the manifestation of the mystery from the ages. For the Son of God becometh the Son of the Virgin, and Gabriel proclaimeth grace. Wherefore do we shout with him to the Theotokos? Rejoice, O full of grace, the Lord is with thee. the majesty and thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The great leader of the immaterial host hath come to the city of Nazareth announcing to thee O pure one the Lord the King of the ages and saying unto thee rejoice O blessed Mary thou incomprehensible and inexplicable wonder and the reclaimer of mankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Today the whole creation rejoiceth, for the archangel hath cried unto thee, Rejoice, O blessed one, spotless, pure, and all blameless. Today the haughtiness of the serpent vanishes, and the bond of the curse of the first father is undone. Wherefore, with all things we cry unto thee, saying, Rejoice, O full of grace. Verily Gabriel lifteth his voice to thee, and greeting, O pure one, since thou carriest in thy womb God before the ages, by whose word he did establish the ends of the earth. And Mary replied, saying, I have not known man. How then shall I give birth to a son? For who hath ever seen a birth without seed? The angel explained to the virgin Theotokos, saying, The Holy Spirit shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily Gabriel was sent unto the spotless virgin, announcing to her the ineffable joy that she should conceive without seed, and that no corruption should touch her, crying, Behold, thou shalt give birth to a son who is before the ages, who shall deliver his people from their sins. And he who sent me to hail thee testifieth, saying, Rejoice, thou who art blessed, for thou shalt give birth, being yet a virgin, and after birth thou shalt remain a virgin. A good word, Alleluia. My heart hath poured forth a good word. Rejoice, O Queen of all, all hymned, Mother of Christ. 
Blessed is thy name, and glorified is thy kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> From my youth up, many passions have warred against me, but do thou help and save me, O my Savior. <clears throat> From my youth up, many passions have warred against me. But do thou help and save me, O my Saviour. He who hates Zion shall be put to confusion of the Lord. Like grass in the fire shall he be withered up. He who hates Zion shall be put to confusion of the Lord. Like grass in the fire shall he be withered up. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit is every soul quickened and exalted in purity and made resplendent by the triune unity in mystic holiness, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the Holy Spirit the channels and streams of grace overflow, showering all creation with invigorating light. Looking on, proclaim from day to day the good tidings of the salvation of our God. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Proclaim from day to day the good tidings of the salvation of our God. Thou our God, who rests in the saints, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye God and his saints. Praise him in the firm foundation of his power. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Lord, 
have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Wisdom is and let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. Let us attend. mercy upon me, O God, according to thy great mercy and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities and in sin did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness the bones that be humble, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquity. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou had desired sacrifice, I had given it. With whole burnt offering thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit. A heart that is broken and humbled God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then thou shalt be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offering. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Thou who art merciful. Blot out all the multitude of our transgressions, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Thou who art merciful, Blot out all the multitude of our transgressions. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to the love and kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Today doth Gabriel make announcement to her who is full of grace, saying, Rejoice, O groomless and unwedded maiden. Let not my strange appearance dazzle thee nor be dismayed at me, for I am the archangel. Verily the serpent did dece deceive you of old, and now I bring thee glad tidings of joy. Thou shalt remain without corruption, and shalt give birth to the Lord, O pure one.
Mercy, Lord, have 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 mercy. Through the mercies and compassions and love for mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine own holy good and life giving spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> with mystic apprehension of the divine commandment, the body the bodiless angel quickly appeared in the dwelling place of Joseph and said to the unwed virgin, Lo, he who in his descent did bow the heavens is housed unchanged and whole in thee. As I behold him in thy womb taking on the form of a servant, I marvel and I cry unto thee, Hail, O bride without bridegroom. To thee, the champion leader, I thy servant offer thanks of victory, O Theotokos, thou who hast delivered me from terror, but as thou hast that power invincible, O Theotokos, thou alone can set me free. From all forms of danger, free me and deliver me, that I may cry unto thee, Hail, O bride without bridegroom. An angel chieftain was sent from heaven to say, Hail, unto the Theotokos. And beholding thee, O Lord, taking bodily form, he stood wrapped in wonder, and with bodiless voice cried aloud to her in this wise, Hail thou, through whom joy shall, find, shall shine forth. Hail thou, through whom the curse shall be destroyed. Hail thou, restoration of the fallen Adam. Hail thou, redemption of the tears of Eve. Hail thou height untrod by human minds, hail thou depth hard to scan even for angels' eyes. Hail thou that art a king throne, hail thou that holdest the upholder of all. Hail thou star that showed the sun, hail womb of the divine incarnation. Hail thou through whom creation is renewed, hail thou through whom the creator becomes a babe. Hail O bride without bridegroom. On March 25th in the Holy Orthodox Church we celebrate the Annunciation of our most holy lady, the Theotokos and ever virgin. The angel announced as son to the virgin, the great angel of the father's great council. On the 25th, the angel spake to joy unto Mary. When the all holy virgin was entering her 15th year after having spent 11 years of living and serving in the temple of Jerusalem, the priest informed her that according to the law, she could not remain in the temple, but must be betrothed and enter into marriage. The All Holy Virgin surprised the priests when she told them that she had dedicated her life to God and that she desired to remain a virgin until death. Then Zacharias, the high priest and father of the forerunner, under the inspiration of God, betrothed the Virgin Mary to Joseph of Nazareth to preserve her virginity and to care for her. When the fullness of time had come, as prophesied by Daniel the prophet, when God was pleased to fulfill his promise to the banished Adam and to the prophets, the Archangel Gabriel appeared in the chamber of the All Holy Virgin. As some priestly writers wrote, precisely at that time, at that same moment, when she held open the book of the prophet Isaiah and was contemplating his great prophecy, behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son. Gabriel appeared in all of his angelic brightness and saluted her. Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with thee, and the rest in order as is written in the Gospel of Luke. The Annunciation and the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the Virgin, leading to the incarnation of our Lord, began the salvation of mankind and restoration of all creation. Through the intercession to the most holy Theotokos and of all thy saints, O Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen.
I shall open my mouth and it will be filled with the Spirit. And I shall speak forth to the Queen and Mother. I shall be seen joyfully singing her praises. And I shall delight to sing of her wonders. As a living and copious fountain of Theotokos, do thou strengthen those who hymn thy praises and are joined together in a spiritual company for thy service. And in thy divine glory, make them worthy of crowns of glory. He who sits in clouds of glory upon the throne of the Godhead, Jesus the Most High God, came with mighty hand and saved those who cried out unto him, Glory to thy power, O Christ. All creation was amazed at thy divine glory. For thou, O unwedded virgin, didst hold in thee the God of all, and didst bear the eternal Son, who rewards with salvation all who hymn thy praises. In the belly of the well, Jonah the prophet foreshadowed the three-day burial, lifting his voice and imploring, Deliver me from corruption, O Jesus, King of the powers. The godly-minded children worship not the creature rather than the Creator, but trampling upon the bread of fire in manly fashion, they rejoiced and sang, O praise, Lord, and God of our fathers, blessed art thou. We praise, praise, we bless, and we worship the Lord. Hearken, O maiden, virgin and pure, that Gabriel may tell the will of the highest. Make thee ready to receive God, for the uncontainable shall through thee mingle with mankind. Wherefore rejoicing I cry, bless the Lord, O ye his works. Proclaim, O earth, the glad tidings of joy, and ye heavens praise the glory of God. The Theotokos, being the living tabernacle of God, shall never be touched by an unclean hand. But the lips of believers shall sing unto her ceaselessly with the voice of angels crying joyfully. Hail, O full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Proclaim a word, the glad tidings of joy, ye heavens praise the glory of God. Thou hast transcended the bounds of nature, O maiden. Having conceived God in an ineffable manner, for being of a perishable nature, thou wast exempted in thy birth giving from that which pertaineth to mothers. Wherefore, as is meet, thou dost hear. Hail, O full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Proclaim, O earth, the glad tidings of great joy, and ye heavens praise the glory of God. How dost thou overflow with milk, O undefiled virgin? Verily thou hast appeared as a strange manifestation, unutterable by human tongue, transcending nature on the bounds of laws of birth. Wherefore thou dost hear as is meet, hail, O full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Proclaim, O earth, the glad tidings of great joy, and ye heavens praise the glory of God. The God-inspired scriptures, O mother of the highest, has spoken of thee mystically, for Jacob, when he saw the ladder of old, which was a foresign of thee, cried, This is the ascent of God, wherefore, as is me, thou dost hear, Hail, O full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Proclaim, O earth, the glad tidings of great joy, and ye heavens praise the glory of God. The bush and the fire did reveal to God, beholding Moses a wonderful miracle. 
and seeking the fulfillment thereof with the passing of time he cried saying i shall behold her who is the spotless maiden who shall be addressed with rejoicing as the theotokos rejoice so full of grace the lord is with thee both now and ever and unto ages of ages amen Preclaim, proclaim, O earth, the glad tidings of great joy in ye heavens. Praise the glory of God. Verily, Daniel called thee a supersensuous mountain, and Isaiah the mother of God. Gideon saw thee as a fleece. David called thee a sanctuary, and another a door. But Gabriel cried unto thee, Hello, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Proclaim a word, the glad tidings of great joy in ye heavens. Praise the glory of God. The Theotokos, being the living tabernacle of God, shall never be touched by an unclean hand. But the lips of believers shall sing unto her ceaselessly with the voice of the angels, crying joyfully, Hello, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. The Lord man and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Oh, save us, have mercy upon us, keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. powers of heaven praise thee and unto thee we ascribe glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages Amen. <clears throat> the chief of all the angels host was sent by god almighty unto a virgin maid most pure bringing to her good tidings of a strange wonder past telling that as a man the lord god shall be conceived without man's seed and shall be brought forth from her born as a babe to refashion all of the race of mortals. Ye people preach the tidings of the whole world's restoration. Rejoice redemption from the curse of our forefather Adam. O modest mother of our God, Rejoice, thou throne and gateway. Rejoice, O temple and mountain. Rejoice, O golden vessel. Rejoice, thou godly chariot. Rejoice, swift cloud and ladder and living bush. Rejoice, O tabernacle and lamp and table rejoice deliverer and savior rejoice o theotoko
praise God in his sanctuary, praise him in the firmament of his power, praise him for his mighty acts, praise him according to his excellent greatness. Having flown down from the vaults of the heaven to <coughs> heaven to Nazareth, Gabriel cried the greeting unto Mary the Virgin. Rejoice, O all pure maid, thou shalt bring forth a son who existed ere Adam was. He is the maker of all and the ransomer of all them that cry rejoice to thee. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with the psaltery and harp. Having flown down from the vaults of heaven to Nazareth, Gabriel cried the greeting unto Mary the Virgin. Rejoice, O all pure maid, thou shalt bring forth a son who existed ere Adam was. He is the maker of all and the ransomer of all them that cry rejoice to thee. Praise him with the timbrel and drums, praise him with stringed instruments and organs. From heaven Gabriel brought the good tidings full of joy unto the holy virgin, crying out rejoice to her. In thy womb shalt thou both conceive and contain him who all things cannot contain, and shall be seen as the mother of him that shone from the father ere the morning star. Praise him on the loud symbols, praise him on the high sounding symbols. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Now the beginning was Father's own co-eternal word in his extreme compassion and immeasurable mercy. Parting not from things above cometh below to take pity on us who fell and having taken a form that is not his own he assumeth Adam's poverty. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit.
to thee, O God, who has shown us the light. Mercy, 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 Glory to God in the highest and on earth mercy, peace mercy, and good will among men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks unto thee for thy great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. O thou who takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. O thou who sitteth at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, O Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praised and glorified be thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we do put our hope in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Lord, thou hast been our refuge in all generations. I said, be merciful unto me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Lord, I have fled unto thee, teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For with thee is the fountain of life, in thy light shall we see light. O continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Amen. Preserve the God, the Holy Orthodox faith, and all Orthodox Christians in all ages of ages. Most holy day, O God, will save us. More honorable than the cherubim, more glorious day, and compared than the seraphim. Today is the beginning of our and the manifestation of the mystery from the ages. For the Son of God becometh the Son of the Virgin, and Gabriel proclaimed his praise. Wherefore do we shout with him to the Theodorus? Rejoice, O full of grace, the Lord is with Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy.
To thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O God, give thy judgment to the King, and thy righteousness to the Son of the King. Let the mountains receive peace for the people, and let the hills receive righteousness. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Proclaim from day to day the good tidings of his salvation. The Lord has sworn in truth unto David, and he will not annul it. Of the fruit of thy loins will I set upon thy throne. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Thine is the kingdom, and thine is the majesty, thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. He shall come down like rain upon a fleece, and like raindrops that fall upon the earth. The Most High hath hallowed his tabernacle. Save us, O Son of God, who art, who was incarnate for our sake, who said unto thee, Alleluia. God shall come visibly, yea, our God, and shall not keep silent. Save us, O Son of God, who was incarnate for our sake, who sing to thee, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son, and Word of God, who art immortal, who for our salvation will to be incarnate of the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, and without change became man, and was crucified, O Christ our God, and trampled down death by death, who art one of the holy trinity, glorified together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Our enemy and in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, keep us, O 
thou art a good God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For holy art thou, our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever. And unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us sit down. Yeah. 
but we do that too. So again, yeah. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. I'll, I'll go with my Because Father advised the epistle. Hmm? It's, it's very well, I just don't know. That's all right. We can always edit this out later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not really his life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> only on live TV. Yeah, it might, I just, I think I'm just thrown off. Okay. Yeah, okay, Trisagian. So now it's Trisagian? Yes. Okay, sorry about that. No problem. Okay.
despite the incredulous nature of his message, the virgin discerned the hidden truth, and with all modesty and humility replied, Behold, the handmaiden of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. Short and simple conversation, and that's it. Outwardly, that's all that happened. No flashes of lightning, no angelic choirs, at least that men's ears could hear. A short exchange and end of story. That's what we celebrate. But of course, there's more. Because something else occurred that was not seen, that was hidden. Something else in this simple action that, in fact, would change all the world and creation forever. A moment in time. A short exchange. A simple yes in response. And our salvation appeared in the womb of the Virgin. A simple yes, and the Son of the Most High God is incarnate, joining himself to the material creation. A simple yes, and the insubordination and rebellion of Eve is replaced by the obedience of Mary. A simple yes, and the Adam of old, dead in sin, is restored by the new and living Adam. Christ the Savior. A simple yes and the ancient plan for the salvation of mankind is accomplished. A virgin conceived, and at that instant God and man are united for all eternity. A virgin conceived and gives birth to an entirely new creation. A simple yes, a virgin conceived, and nothing is ever the same. Did you perceive that in this instant, this old world went from mourning to rejoicing, from futility to purpose, from death to life? Did you notice? No? Well, I didn't notice. But sometimes, when God wills, the greatest things happen in the simplest way, right under our noses. The greatest events take place in the most uneventful way. And the simplest acts can give birth to the greatest miracles. This, my brothers and sisters, is, is what I hope you understand. And believe in, even in these, these most uh, unassuming actions, God can be present in great power, accomplishing his work for our salvation. You may be sitting home right now on your sofa, in your pajamas, drinking coffee, and trying to follow along with our common prayer. Does that really mean anything? Are you really doing anything? Can God visit you in such humble circumstances? Can he revive your spirit and give you hope and receive your worship together with all the heavenly hosts? The God who visited the Panagia Theotokos certainly can. He has not, I mean, he has not shown anything else but that he can demonstrate that wherever he wills, the, even the order of nature is overturned. Is it too much for him to bless you, even at this hour, in your house, in your quarantine? I think it is not too much for our God. And these are certainly not normal times. At any other time, we would hasten to the temple, perhaps. But now, our homes are the little temples, the little churches, and you must believe. Here, do not feel that you are absent somehow from the grace of God during this time. Although we all long for our parish to be reopened, for our liturgical life.
like we may ascribe glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> no one who is bound with the desires and pleasures of the flesh is worthy to approach or draw nigh or to serve thee, O King of glory. For to serve thee is a great and terrible thing, even to the heavenly powers. Nevertheless, through thine unspeakable and boundless love toward mankind, thou dost become man, yet without change or alteration. And as Lord of all, dost take the name of our high priest, and deliver unto us the ministry of the saturgic and unbloody sacrifice. For thou alone, O Lord, our God, rulest over those in heaven and on earth, who art born in the throne of the cherubim, who art Lord of the seraphim and King of Israel, who alone art holy and rest in thy holy place. Wherefore, I implore thee, who alone art good and art ready to listen, look down upon me, a sinner, and thine unprofitable servant, and cleanse my soul and my heart from an evil conscience, and by the power of thy Holy Spirit, enable me of whom, endued with the grace of the priesthood, to stand before this thy holy table, and to perform the sacred mystery of thy holy and immaculate body and precious blood. For I draw near unto thee, and bowing thy neck, I pray thee, turn not thy face from me, neither cast me out from among thy children. But vouchsafe that these gifts may be offered unto thee by me, thy sinful and unworthy servant. For thou thyself, and he that offers and is offered, that accepts and is distributed, O Christ our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, together with thy Father, who is an everlasting and thine all-holy good and life-giving spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. We who mystically represent the cherubim and sing for the life-giving trinity the thrice holy hymn, let us now lay aside all earthly care. mystically represent the cherubim and sing to the life-giving trinity the thrice holy hymn let us now lay aside all earthly care we who mystically represent the cherubim and sing to the life-giving trinity the thrice holy hymn let us now lay aside all earthly care and have mercy upon me, O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. Forgive me, brothers. Forgive me, brothers.
that's wrapped in and finally that and then spices and lighters and then it's kind of in the graveyard. The king the of all paradise. who comes the in visibly, adorned by the angelic host, alleluia, alleluia. <coughs> Compassions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. And to thy Spirit. Let us love one another, now with one accord we may confess. Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end and I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together are worshiped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Let us stand and rise, let us stand with fear, and let us attend the the hour of the holy oblation. A mercy, a peace, a 
sacrifice of praise. <laughs> the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with thy spirit. Bless the Use me and write to him thee to bless thee, to praise thee, to give thanks unto thee, and to worship thee in every place of thy dominion. For thou art God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing and eternally the same, thou and thine only begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit. Thou it was who didst bring us from non existence into being, and when we had fallen away, didst raise us up again, and didst not cease to do all things until thou hast brought us back to heaven and hast endowed us with thy kingdom which is to come. For all these things we give thanks unto thee and to thine only begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit, for all things of which we know and of which we know not, and for all the benefits bestowed upon us, both manifest and unseen. And we give thanks unto thee also, uh, receive in our hands, though there stand beside thee thousands of archangels and ten thousands of angels, the cherubim and the seraphim, six wind, many eyed, soaring aloft, Born on their pinions, singing the triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, With his blessed powers, we also, Master, who love us mankind, cry aloud and say, Holy art thou, and all holy and bound, thine only begotten Son, thy Holy Spirit. Holy art thou, and all holy and magnificent is thy glory. Who is so loved thy world as to give thy only begotten Son, that all who believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Who when he had come and have fulfilled all the dispensation for us, in the night in which he was betrayed, or rather gave himself up for the life of the world, took bread in his holy and pure and blameless hands. And when he had given thanks and blessed it and hallowed it and broken it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, my body which is broken for you for the remission of sins Amen. and likewise after supper he took the cup saying drink ye all of this this is my blood of the new testament which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins Amen. Having in remembrance, therefore, the saving commandment, and all those things which have come to pass for us, the cross, the grave, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the session at the right hand, and the second and glorious advent, thine own of thine own we offer unto thee in behalf of all and for all. We praise thee. Again, we offer unto thee this reasonable and unbloody service, and beseech thee, and pray thee, and supplicate thee. Send down thy Holy Spirit upon us, and upon these gifts here spread forth. Bless Father the Holy Bread. And make this bread the precious body of thy Christ. Bless Father the Holy Cup. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of thy Christ. Bless Father the Holy Bread. Changing them by thy Holy Spirit, that to those who shall partake thereof they may be unto cleansing of soul, 
unto the remission of sins, unto the communion of thy Holy Spirit, unto the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, unto boldness toward thee and not unto condemnation. And again we offer unto thee this reasonable service for all those who in faith have gone before us to their rest, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially our O Holy Immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, and for the Holy Prophet, foreigner of Baptist Church, for the Holy Glorious Holy Apostles, for the Saints who the Saints who the Saints who have been 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 the Saints who have been
and come to sanctify us, O thou who sitteth on high with the Father, and are here invisibly present with us, and vouchsafe by thy mighty hand to impart unto us that immaculate body and precious blood, and through us unto all thy people. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. Let us attend. Holy things are for <coughs> the holy. Mine is holy. Mine is Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. Blessed is the fervor of thy saints, always now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The warmth of faith, full of the Holy Lord, Spirit. And I, I confess and I confess that thou art, thou art truly the Christ, the, the Son, Son of the Living God, God who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. chief. And I, I believe that this is truly man. thine own immaculate body, and that this is truly thine own precious blood. Wherefore I pray thee, have mercy upon me, and forgive me my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, of knowledge and of ignorance and make me worthy to catch the condemnation of thine immaculate mysteries, unto remission of my sins, and unto life everlasting. Amen. Of thy mystical supper, O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of thy mystery to thy enemies, neither will I give thee a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom, not into judgment, nor into condemnation, be my partaker in thy holy mysteries, O Lord, but unto the healing of soul. Amen. Lord, do I am the Christ, thy mortal pain, and unto our <coughs> precious and all holy body of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ is given unto me, the unworthy priest Michael, for the remission of sins and for life everlasting. Takes of the precious and holy body of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and for life seen the true light, we have received the yeah. heavenly no, spirit, we have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided trinity, for ye have saved us. Through the intercessions of all the saints. 
Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and in the ages of ages. Amen. Let our mouths be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that we may sing of thy glory. For thou hast permitted us to partake of thy holy, divine, immortal, and life-giving mysteries. Establish us in thy sanctification, that all the day we may meditate upon thy righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks unto thee, O Lord, who lovest mankind, benefactor of our souls and bodies, for that thou hast vouchsafed this day to feed us with thy heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, establish us all in thy fear, guard our life, make firm our steps, through the prayers and intercessions of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all thy saints. For thou art our sanctification, and unto thee we ascribe glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In thy name of the Lord. Let us praise the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, who blesses those who bless thee, and sanctifies those who put their trust in thee, save thy peace. Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy heart. Glorify them and recompense by thy divine power. And forsake us not to hope on thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, to all civil authorities, to our armed forces, and to all thy people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from thee, the Father of lights. And unto thee we will strive, glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be thy name of the Lord. Henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be thy name of the Lord. Henceforth and forevermore. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Son, into the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Father, bless. May he who condescended to become incarnate with the Holy Spirit in the Virgin Mary for us men and for our salvation, Christ our true God, through the intercession 